Do you know what is variable in Python? Hi, this is Krupale from Know How Academy. So let's start with me. So let me tell you first what you will learn in this video. In this video, you will learn what is variable in Python, how to print the value of the variable and how you can take the value of a variable from the user in Python. And the last thing that you will learn that is what are the different data types which is available in Python. So variable is what in Python? So let me explain you with the simple example. Now let me explain some simple math formula to explain the concept of variable in Python. So let's say here I write one formula in Python that is a equal to b plus c. So what is the meaning of that? Whatever the value of b and whatever the value of c it will be added and the whatever the answer a b plus c that will be assigned into a. So let's say here the value of b is 10 and value of c equal to 40. Now I want to determine what can be the answer of b plus c. So what I will write I will write a equal to value of b that is 10 plus c that is 40. So a equal to 40 plus 10 that is 50. So here we can say that variable b contain value 10 and variable c contain value 40. And whenever I add this two value, the answer in will be in a. So that is 50 will be assigned into a. So these are called variables. So variable can be a, b, c or anything. Now when you are taking a variable, you make sure that you give always meaningful name to the variable. So let's say I give a meaningful name a1, sorry 1a. So this is not allowed. Why? Because variable name always start with alphabet or underscore. So generally if you write a then it's okay. If you write aa still it is okay. If you write aaa still it is okay. But if you write 1a it is not okay. If you write a1 that is okay. So you need to follow the rules of a variable. Or you can say you need to follow the naming convention if you are taking variable in your program. So basically variable is useful to store any value whether it's on a permanent basis whether it can be on a temporary basis. So these are called variable in Python. Now if you want to implement the concept of variable in Python you need to start writing your first program in Python. So which software you need to use it to write your Python program. There are lots of IDE in which you can do Python programming. Let's say Jupyter Notebook, Python IDLE, then uh, Visual Code, PyCharm and so on. So whatever software you are comfortable you can use it. But my advice is that if you are beginner I insist you to use Python IDLE or Google Collab Sheet. Now how to use Google Collab Sheet that I will show you in this video. Now to use a Python there are two ways. Either you can install Python in your local computer or you can use a Python service which is available on a cloud. So I am not installing Python in my computer. I directly start using Python from the cloud. So I will use cloud editor. So the name of the cloud editor that is Google Colab. You may heard that. So first of all, you need to log in into Google Colab. So if you have Gmail ID and if you are logging in your browser using that Gmail ID, you can open new tab and search for Colab. And here first page will open that is Google Colab. And you need to open that uh, link. So this will open. So this is the welcome page of the Google Call app. Now if you don't have any internet connection and still you want to use it so you can use Python ideally. This is my advice for beginner. Otherwise the choice is yours. Okay so first of all before writing a Python code you need to familiar with the Python Google Call app editor. 
so basically python google collab editor that is called a notebook kind of things where the different lines are there and you need to write code inside that and in for each and every line you can test it so let's see how so first of all you need to make sure that how you can make a new file in google collab so here you need to click on file but before that let me zoom little bit so you can see it properly okay so here you need to click on the file then click on new notebook now you may have a question where this file can be stored this file you will find it under your google drive let me show you so i already logged in in my google drive and you can see the name of my file is untitled 2 so let me go to the google drive and here oh till i did not saved it so let me save it first so double click on it and write variable and just save it so it will be saved and let me go to the google drive and just refresh it so here you will able to see the name of the sheet which i have uh, just saved so you can check it out the time at which i have saved that okay so go back again now let's say if you want to open any file so let's say click on file and then open notebook you can open that by clicking here in your local computer if any ipynb file is there you can upload it okay so basically ipynb file you will get uh, if you are doing programming in jupyter notebook in anaconda okay so i we are just using it so i'm clicking on new and then this notebook will open now to use that notebook first of all you need to start writing code in first cell now each and every line here if you write uh, consider that is called cell cell is basically a place where you can start writing a program so let's say if you want to check whether the python is installed correctly or not so you can write the print statement print hello and complete the bracket and first time it will take some time to connect to the remote server and establishing a connection so here you can see that the hello is printed so that means my google collab is working properly now let's say if you want to delete it you can select that sheet and delete it not sheet but cell still if you want to delete that you can select that cell and delete it but let's say if you want to make one cell so you can right click on code so by default one cell will be made now let's back to our concept that is variable in python so let's say here we have done the programming of adding two numbers generally not programming but i'll explain you how to add two numbers so let's do the same so for that first of all you need to take a variable so to take a variable in python you need to write a name of a variable and then assign equal to sign and assign value what you want to assign it so 10 will be assigned into a now next thing is let's say if you want to take another variable that is b and you want to assign some value inside that to so write b equal to sign and 40 that means b contain value 40 now let's say you want to print that value so you need to write print statement and a inside that you need to write the name of a variable and then you need to run the program so to run the program you can click here and from your keyboard you can press shift and enter key so value of a is printed now let's say if you want to print the value of b also so either you can write it in new line or either you can write it in same line by writing comma so you can see that 10 and 40 is printed so this way you can print the value of a variable now the next thing is that how you can take values from the user into the variable so let's say i make one program which will ask me enter the value of number one so i need to write some code which will accept value from the user so for that you need to write left hand side the name of a variable let's say c then equal to that is called assignment operator and you need what type of things you need numeric time types of value inside that variable so in that case you need to write the data type i will explain you what is data type but just for understanding uh, right now understand you need to write integer and then you need to write input and inside a bracket in a double quotation you need to write whatever the message you want to display to the user so let's say enter value one 
okay and let's say here uh, what is the meaning of input input means we are accepting something from the user so for Google, uh, for python it is called input and whatever you have entered it will be assigned into variable c and remember when you are doing assignment in variable always value can be on the right hand side and variable name can be on a left hand side and then hit run okay so here it is asking for a value so let's say i'm adding value 122 and then it is not printing anything whatever i have entered i need to print it so for that you need to write print and the name of the variable without double quotation and then save it and run it so here i'm giving value 67 so here 67 is printed let me run it again when you are writing input a prompt will be waited for you to enter the value so here in this portion you need to enter the value so let's say if here i'm adding 20 so 20 will be printed so this way you can print the value of python in google column so if you are as using any software the code will be same only but where you will get your output that is difference and here using a input function you will assign value from the user let's say if here i am writing z equal to 45 that means i am assigning value inside a variable while writing the program so that is called static assignment but let's say if you have written like this c equal to then data type and then input that means dynamically you are assigning value inside that variable so I hope you get an idea. Now, the next thing is that how many ways you can assign value inside a variable. So there are three ways. So the first way is called a basic way of assigning a variable. So let's say I have three variables, A, B and C, and I want to assign different value inside that. So what you need to write? You need to write variable A, equal to then value then enter then b equal to 45 then c equal to 67 so this is called a basic assignment in python there is an, another type of assignment that is called chained assignment now what is the meaning of the chained assignment let's say i have three variable a b and c and i want to assign a single value in all these three variables so let's say here one way is I can write this a10, b20, then c45. So this is a basic way, not uh, say a different value, but I want to assign same value. So a contain 10, b contain 10, and c contain 30, 10. So is there any other way that I can do? So the next way is chain assignment. So how you can do chain assignment? So if you write a equal to b equal to c, equal to write 10 so that is called chain assignment so 10 will be assigned into c b and a so this is called chain assignment so the next type of assignment in python variable that is called multiple assignment now what is the meaning of multiple assignment so let me explain you with the example let's say here i have three variables named p q and r and I want to assign the value. So using a basic, you can write like this, the name of the variable equal to sign value, then next variable, then equal to sign and 40. But using a multiple assignment, you can assign this value in a single line. Let's see how. So you need to write a variable, then P comma Q comma R. Then you need to write equal to sign. Then you need to write the value of P that is 30, then 45, then uh, let's say again 45 so p will contain 30 q will contain 45 and r will contain 45 so this is called multiple assignments in python so let's say if i print it let's see what i get print then p then comma q comma r let's print it so you can see that 30 45 and 45 is printed let's say here in multiple assignments sorry in chain assignment if you want to print the value of any of the variable so you will get only 10 that is for b variable if you print c still you can print uh, you will see that will be 10 so let's say here if i assign this value but here uh, i don't want it here i want to print individual so can i print it so let's say print p then print 
Q, then print R, and let me just remove the that slash which I made my mistake, and then hit enter. Sorry, shift enter. So you can print the value in separate line as well as same line. Now the next thing is that you want to print the proper message and the value of the variable. So for that you need to write print and then in double quotation you want to print the message. That is user defined message, any message you can print it. The value or not values but the value of the variable A is then double colon space and after that you want to print the value. So let's say here printing a value. So here 30 will be print, 10 will be printed because A contain 10 and P, Q, R contain 30, 45, 40. And let's say after the variable still you want to print something. So write a comma and then write thank you. Let's say you want to print it. So here 10 will be printed between this sentence and this sentence in your Python code. So I hope you get an idea about what is variable in Python. Now the next thing is what is data type? So data type is related in Python with the variable. So let's say here this is the variable A. Now each and every variable contains some specific value but specific type of value also. Let's say here 10. 10 is what kind of value? So 10 is called integer kind of thing. Integer means the number which do not have any fraction part. So that is called integer. But let's say I'm taking one variable called y and I'm assigning 45.08 value inside that. So that the data type of the y variable is called float. What is the meaning of float? Float means which contain real numbers that is 35 point something number then point and after the fraction value okay so that is called type of a variable so in python there are several data types are there some of the basic data type i am telling you that is integer float boolean least etc so let's see that so integer you know okay let's say if you want to see the type of a variable you need to write type and inside that you need to write a name of a variable so it will print the type of a variable that is float. Let's say if you write like this, print type and y. So here it will print that at what class the float data type belong. So float data type belong from the float class. So if you print only, if you want to print only the type, then you need to write type and inside that a variable. But if you want to see at what class that data type belongs so in that case you need to write print then type so let's say here i want to print the type of a uh, variable p so how can i print it so i need to write type and print p so variable so here it is printed that integer okay now let's say here boolean boolean means two values possible either true either false so let's say here i am taking a variable a i'm taking again but this time i will write some boolean value and then you i will write true true means z uh, one and uh, false means zero so it may contain only two values zero and one and if you print type then it will give boolean or bull okay generally boolean short form is bull now let's say here i i'm making one variable which store multiple values so let's say one two three and i'm writing type a so this is called list so basically there are several types are there but in this video i will give a basic overview of the type so let's say here in the variable ch this time i'm giving two character in one variable and then I am writing my name inside single quotation or in, inside double quotation also you can write it. Krupali. And then I am printing the type of ch variable. Then it will print str. str means string. When certain number of character forms a particular word that is called a string. So here the string data type is there. Okay. And let's say if I write it in double quotation. Let's see what happens. 
So again, it will print string. So if you write inside the single quotation, if you write inside double quotation, it does not make any difference in Python. So these are called the data types of variable. Thank you for choosing Know How Academy as a source of your IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world. If you have any question, do not feel hesitate to reach out to us. Stay curious, keep learning.